Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what to call this one other than it is me uh, doing a full page illustration of my original character Luna Moth uh, in my current bullet journal. Uh, I actually <laughs> did this one early, early January. Uh, as of me recording this voiceover, it is the 5th of February. So yeah, let's talk character design. Uh, Luna Moth was actually uh, kind of just an idea that popped into my head when I was doing the... Uh, I was kind of doing something weird for Inktober. I was doing... I was doing the prompts for Inktober uh, and well not just the Inktober prompts I was doing every prompt every prompt list that I could find everything that just had anything to do with Inktober uh yeah just just I was trying to give myself options just to see like what what sprung to mind what inspired me the most what actually uh, got me drawing and one of the things that actually actually did get me drawing was drawing little sketches for every single prompt that I could find for that day and on one of those days um, I really don't remember which one it was the one of the prompts was Luna Moth uh, I actually think it was Ellen Tori is that her name Oh, there's an artist on Instagram that... Oh, there's so many artists on Instagram that I follow. Uh, but I believe her name is Ellen Tori. Uh, she did her own uh, Inktober list, prompt list. And that was one of her prompts uh, was Luna Moth. And I wound up... I just, for whatever reason, I just like... When I was looking up references for Luna Moths, I just fell in love with this idea of creating a kind of an art deco style uh fashion design or just like this outfit based around a luna moth and that's where my luna moth came from uh i just started doodling her and uh when i was it came time for me to kind of work on my bullet journal I didn't really know what to do for my bullet. I knew I wanted to do kind of a Art Deco thing, like literally every other bullet journal, <laughs> bullet journaler did. But I just really, I really wanted to do something uh, with just fashion and uh, kind of a very Urte fashion design style. And I remembered luna moth and it's like i really i was so inspired by that design that it's like i should really dive into luna moth like the my luna moth design and i, I wasn't even calling her luna moth at that time i was just like oh it's just a girl wearing a luna moth outfit uh but the more that i drew her and i believe that this picture here is actually the third time that i've done a full page illustration with her uh, and definitely by this time, I honestly, probably by the first time I finished a drawing of her, uh, that wasn't just a sketch. Uh, she, her name had permanently become Luna Moth and I, she became a very prominent p figure throughout my bullet journal. Uh, and even though this is the third drawing of her in this bullet journal, it is not the last because the very next page is a spread of her design that's uh, that I've broken down just trying to like figure out how her costume actually works. Uh, and if you want to see that, you uh, you can go to my Instagram where I have pictures of that. I did not do video of that only because I was working on that particular spread in various places not just at home where my camera is set up but um, I was also doing it I, I was working on that spread at work um, on my lunch break and I, I just really wanted to finish that spread because I really wanted to figure out her how her outfit worked 
Um, uh, <laughs> but I really, just really, really like and love how this came out. And uh, doing that spread, I started building on her personality, figuring out the kind of person that she was, and just really developing her character. And uh, subsequently, like all things in my life, making her needlessly complicated and giving her an entire backstory and a love interest and, you know, just going full pedal to the metal and just going completely overboard like I do. I'm very good at that kind of thing. And anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it is, oh, it's pretty short. But uh, a lot of uh, a lot of the I still have a lot of video to do, uh, just because I I do have a lot of stuff and I do have other ideas that I haven't filmed yet, uh, just because I have a lot of supplies that I need to actually um, film reviews for. So yeah, I hope you've been enjoying my journey so far. It has been an experience. Uh, yeah. Definitely an experience in like how much I can actually handle. All right, thanks for watching. Bye. It is going to take four hours to export this video. <laughs>